This is yoga. Yoga means union, that you experience everything as a part of yourself. If this experience doesn't happen to more and more people, especially if this experience doesn't happen to people who hold responsible positions in the world, we as a generation will be opening up a threshold of destruction which is very difficult to turn back. I am deeply involved in this, I have been in touch with various scientists, uh, United Nations organizations. Everywhere it's very clear that if we do something significant to turn this back in the next fifteen to twenty years, things will turn around in forty to sixty years time. But if you let it go these twenty years, go business as usual, then if you try to turn it back, it may take two hundred years to turn it back. So right now, either we correct this consciously or nature will correct it in a very cruel way. Lot of people already, already environmentalists, not virologists, environmentalists have started talking and saying the present pandemic also is one of the outcomes of this environmental disaster that we are unleashing upon ourselves. So conscious planet is… because as I see, there's really no problem on this planet. There is only one problem, the human being. There is no other problem. If you fix you and me, yes. it's a done thing. But to make everybody willing, as I said, last thirty-nine years, I thought who would refuse to be ecstatic? Who would not want to be blissful? But people are so deeply invested in their miseries. <laughs> How much ever you do, they hang on to their miseries. This is because still life is compulsive, it's not become conscious. A human being, so we don't call, refer to any other creature as a being, only to this one, because this is supposed to know how to be.